what's up guys and welcome back to another watch me work video and today we are going to create this black rock inspired set this is actually a set that i made i think two and a half years ago and it is for a new year's eve party or something so I guess you can see that in the design. So starting straight off by extending the index fingers because we need to have them transparent. And in my upcoming education platform, I will have detailed videos going over uh, extensions how to do them and why I am doing things like this uh, cutting into the form and all that fun jazzy stuff so make sure to check that out I will of course let you know as soon as I have everything set up right now I am actually still in the Swedish archipelago with Christian and Martin so we're still um, enjoying our vacation time I actually turned 35 yesterday and my parents came out here we had a great time martin loves to swim so we went out uh to the lake and he i i promise you he was a seal in his previous life he just loves to swim and if you want to see more of that you can follow me on my instagram uh, selena's place um i generally post a lot of martin stuff there so if you are a fan of him then you better check it out so anyways uh back to the nails right now i'm just applying that second layer over the extension and then wiping and taking my file and as i said this and this is an old video so i'm using old files from light against they don't look like this anymore the new ones are fantastic by the way so you better check it out and uh while you are here i also want to take a quick minute to just let you know that i got some new awesome merch in my merch store and it's the yes my nails are long yes i do have a job yes i can type do you really want me to tell you how i wipe my ass and i know that a lot of you get this question especially yeah if you do have long nails so that's why i made i made this um design for you i love it i have um hand drawn the hand and everything myself so super proud of it um so yeah if you want to go and check it out it is up on the link that you had in there or you can check out the link in the description box down below as well so right here i am applying like a shimmery uh gel color or glitter this is a buttercream and i'm not sure but i think it's called with this ring uh so, you know it's such a old video so i kind of forgot what i used but i think so and i did cure that before adding the glitters and then i just basically mush everything together so that you got this amazing mushy uh, glitter mess and this black glitter is kind of special because it's like um long glitter spears i don't know if you can say that but it is called a fussy so yeah they it's not the classical round glitter particles it's uh longer yeah spears if you want to call it like that but i'm just um same thing here mushing everything together and i just love that transparent see-through look for this so it just makes everything look so i don't know party like it's it's cool so if you break a nail just take the chance and do a clear extension and do some fun things with it so uh next up i actually got another design that i created out here in the swedish archipelago at my family house this is the free nail tech spirit same thing here i have drawn everything myself so the hands and the crystals in the center and all that i absolutely love this design and you know it's it's kind of symbolizes you know that we as nail techs were creative free spirited people and this is a design that i have been wanting to do for such a long time and i am so happy how it turned out you can find all of my merch uh, as t-shirts 
hoodies, sweatshirts, mugs, stickers, phone cases, you've got tote bags, you've got pretty much everything. So yeah, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and do that. And now we are moving on to um, the black nails and we're actually going to do a black uh, glitter ombre. So starting out with those spear type of glitter thingies. And then I am actually picking up a different kind of black glitter and that one has those typical brown particles uh, that you usually see. So you can see here. And I have to tell you, like, I am so sorry that I am out of frame. I have tried to crop this as a crazy person just to make sure that you will see as much as you can. But I don't know what the frick happened here. I probably just brain farted. And I was out of frame all the freaking time when I was doing this. So I really did my best with the editing. But oh my god, you should have seen me when I started to edit this. And when I saw the footage, it was like, oh, just wanted to bang my head into the wall. But anyways, I think you can see what I'm doing here. Make sure that you are turning your brush to the side when you are mixing the glitters together. It makes it a little bit easier. And here I am just uh, encapsulating everything with some one step with light elegance one step uh, if you want to use the same technique as i am here just make sure that you are choosing a builder gel that with low viscosity so the runnier the better um i would say the runnier the gel is the faster you can work um so yeah this is actually the runniest gel that light elegance have that you can build with so that is why I'm choosing that. And this technique will, of course, also be very much, much, very much in detail explained on my upcoming education platform. Super excited about that. Uh, we have cured all the nails. We have cleansed the nails and now we are filing. Same thing here. I know that you guys have been talking so much about filing, shaping and all that. So that is going to be a separate video on my education platform. We're going to talk about shaping to down to the T, like all the details, everything you need to know, um, how to make sure that you shape the nail so that it will last a really long time. And here we are applying the next layer of the black. And this is what I call the sandwich technique. If you guys haven't heard about the sandwich technique or if you are like intrigued about what I am actually doing here. Why am I applying the black again on top of the nail? Uh, you can actually just Google Selena Ryden and sandwich technique here on YouTube and you're going to find loads of really nice and detailed videos. I got a Q&A video. I did a video with Susie Nail Tech uh, or Nail Education, Career Education. You know who I mean. Who I mean. Susie and uh, I did a video with her uh, talking about the sandwich technique so yeah you better go check it out as well so moving on to the crystals and all the crystals I'm using are of course from my web shop moon flare so you got the um, the website address down here as well uh, together with some uh, caviar beads so all that stuff and I, well we got uh, pickup tools and lots of other fun cool things for nail art we got the red iguana hands we got the um, pillow actually the the manicure armrest that i'm using you guys have been asking me for years where i get my armrest and we have been working for two years two years trying to find this armrest and finally we found it it is now available in the web shop and it is selling like crazy same thing here with the lead uh, flashlight uh, we don't have this big one but we have a really nice small one that you can get as well um, in the web shop so yeah we got real Swarovski crystals the armrest we got a really nice new uh, stand for cell phones or iPads so if you want to film like tutorials or take uh, pictorials of your work 
it's like um I, it's hard to explain but it's like the ultimate stand that you can put on your table and then film whatever you want if you want to film like live videos even or stuff like that so that is also brand new i'm so happy that we found that uh, yeah as i said the ready one hands and yeah loads of other fun things so you better go check it out uh now here i am working with my swirly brush you can actually found find this brush as well in our web shop but we can only sell it to Sweden uh, so if you want to get the brushes outside of Sweden you would have to contact or go to lightelegance.com uh, but I'm using some white gel paint and just applying that around the cuticles for those of you who have been following me for a long time you know that I love that design it just kind of I don't know what it is but it just melts everything together so here i am uh, making a little bit more like foggy designs on top of that transparent nail so for that you need to apply something a base that is very runny like very thin low viscosity and then you apply your white into it and if you place a white gel paint then it will not spread as much and you will get a little bit more pigment into your foggy swirl but if you choose for example like if you're working with light elegance if you're choosing like perfect white or something that has a little less pigmentation you will get of course a foggier fog if that makes sense so it really depends on what look you are going for but i would say just make sure that you are choosing a base gel that is that has a very low viscosity uh, so here I'm just continuing to pimp the nails up um, and making sure that I cover that girdle around the crystal and as you know don't cover the crystals with gel because then you will lose the facets and you will have basically just a dull dead blob so make sure that you go around the crystals as you can see here i'm using my swirly together with super shiny the top gloss to get around the crystal so really really be careful uh when you are working with crystals and with your gel don't cover them up because you will lose the effect the sparkle effect and just finishing up the rest of the nails using that same super shiny and for the transparent nails you actually want to add uh, super shiny to the well underneath the nail as well and then cure it upside down that way it will be as transparent as it can be so yeah make sure that you do that as well and yeah you can see here it's still going in with my swirly brush and just I'm just dipping my brush into this uh, super shiny and uh, go around the crystals so nothing more fancy than that really so when I start out I take my brush from the super shiny and then I go around the big areas and cover as much as I can but try to stay away from the crystals and then I come in with my swirly brush and do uh, the details so we actually do got a couple of tutorials on the Moonflare web shop. So if you just go to, I think it's like inspiration and then uh, Moonflare Academy and then you got some tutorials on how to apply crystals and uh, crystal pixies. Anyways, here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well and especially push that little notification bell so that you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.